innovation and technology is now firmly on the government's agenda, and it has featured more frequently in the public discourse in our media. And we now have a bureau dedicated to promoting innovation and technology in Hong Kong, and its mission is to create a vibrant ecosystem that connects the government, the industry, the academia, and the research sector. The ultimate goal is to facilitate the commercialization of R&D results and promote the development of high-end manufacturing in Hong Kong. Science Park being the key implementation agent for innovation and technology in Hong Kong, our mission mirrors ITB's mission. Last year, Hong Kong saw a 46% increase in the number of startups, with 56% increase in staff among these startups. The Science Park is the largest incubator in Hong Kong. Currently, there are 245 startups, and our target is to double the number in four years. We are also planning to expand our premises on this site in the Science Park, also redeveloping our industrial estates to accommodate high-end manufacturing so as to provide for the entire value chain, innovate in Hong Kong, design in Hong Kong, and made in Hong Kong. Along with healthy aging and smart city, robotics is one of the three cross-disciplinary application platforms that Science Park is actively building. And on this, I'm most grateful to Professor Norman Tian, Dean of the Engineering Faculty of the University of Hong Kong, for leading a robotics alliance comprising experts from various disciplines, including academics and industrialists, to help set the direction of robotics development in Hong Kong based on market needs and applications. We always believe that we should, technology should help to solve social and economic problems. Therefore, at the Science Park, we have set up a robo-workshop to facilitate students' mastery of IT and programming skills in a fun way. That is the only way to motivate to learn. And also through hands-on experience, enable them to understand the intersection of science, engineering, and mathematics. We have also set up a robotics garage. This is a maker space that is open to university students and any person with innovative ideas and where they can produce their first prototype. This is also a place where robotics enthusiasts share information exchange ideas and work together. We have already signed four memorandum of understandings with uh, incubators in Beijing, Shanghai, Tianjin, and Shenzhen to facilitate two-way flow of startups so that they can each explore new markets in the mainland and in Hong Kong. And I encourage also our local tenants at the Science Park to take advantage of this opportunity. I always say innovation technology rises above politics. And if we can all work together with one heart and one mind, we will be able to transform Hong Kong into an innovation hub, I hope, within 10 years.